Fantastic Four happening. It's happening in New York City on their beat. Oh, they're out of town. They're out of town. Yeah, they're in another dimension. They're not around. <laughs> Where are the X-Men to help out? A couple of my friends who go to other schools uh, are really uh, upset that they don't have this opportunity. Uh, they hear that we have it here at CSUN, and I just tell them that's why CSUN's the best. You know, we offer things that other places don't. A lot of people come into my uh, course, I think, expecting that superheroes are sort of the barometer of comics. Like when superheroes thrive, comics thrive, and when they don't, comics don't thrive. And they may think that that's sort of the be-all and end-all of comics. I try to disabuse people of that idea because even in American comic books and graphic novels, there's so much more uh, than the superhero that's happening. So for like a comic that seems like it's breaking like a lot of like conventions mm -hmm. or it's having like the main characters like a, mm -hmm. like a teenage Muslim girl. Uh, From Jersey City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like with the political climate you can see why that might mm -hmm. be like an unconventional character choice. But like it, it was it was like kind of weird for me reading it because it, it seems exactly like, like Spider-Man Homecoming where it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, she discovers her powers and then of course you have to have like the 20 pages of like, you know, she doesn't know how to use her powers and, and okay. oh, she's like she wrecks the locker room. And Ms. Marvel may be the most talked about superhero comic from Marvel in the 21st century since it has a Pakistani American Muslim teenage protagonist. Uh, to it. So far, I really, really do like Miss Marvel. Uh, it's something completely different for me. Uh, I haven't read anything like it before. Um, it's really easy to identify with her because she is a fan, just like I am a fan. I would love to be part of the Justice League or maybe even the Avengers uh, one day. <laughs> I'm interested in ways of getting the comics into dialogue with other things that are happening on campus so that people will recognize the relevance of comics. If you keep your ears open, you know, you will hear and see the seamless switching from English to Spanish to other tongues, sometimes sign. You'll see all kinds of things happening and hear all kinds of things happening on campus. I tell people that they're going to gain a lot of friends, for one. Uh, it's, it's hard sometimes for uh, comic book fans to find other comic book fans uh, if it's outside of the comic book store itself. You know, I know uh, growing up it might be hard because this generation isn't necessarily into comic books as much as past generations have been. Um, so you're going to find a lot of like-minded people and you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Um, if you do have the honor of having Professor Hatfield, you're going to get a great professor to teach you everything you need to know and some more stuff that you just want to know. And he's a great guy and great person all around. I couldn't recommend it anymore. I'm Charles Hatfield. I'm a professor of English here at Cal State Northridge. I founded the course English 333 back in 2005. I teach courses on comics, popular culture, children's literature, film and media, science fiction, fantasy. I love books with pictures. My name is Luke Natale. I am a screenwriting major here at CSUN and CTVA. I love CSUN with all my heart and you can, I can guarantee you that you're going to see one of those CSUN alumni uh, things on the back of my car one day. <laughs>